What's good YouTube, it's your boy Muzilas Fitness. Today is a Monday, it's a beautiful day. It's, yeah, the weather's okay, it's not that great. But yeah, it's currently early in the morning and I literally just finished doing cardio and I thought, you know what, let me turn on my camera real quick and just talk to you guys about why I have decided to change my training split. Um, for the longest time, I have been doing basically the Arnold Schwarzenegger training program where he does chest and back in the morning legs in the evening on monday wednesday friday and he does shoulders and arms on tuesday thursday s saturday so every muscle group basically three times a week um i've seen a lot of progress doing that program again it depends on the kind of lifestyle you live if you're working a nine to five um then then that's that's not really an ideal program for you because <laughs> that's like what doing just the back in the morning going to work eight hours and having to hit legs after that my friend no <laughs> um even though i did do that when i was working I'm, I'm a bit crazy though but yeah it's it's a tough program um the reason why i've been doing it is simply because one i work from home so i have the opportunity to do that and also because i work from home i'm always at home i don't really go out so Training twice a day has given me an excuse to actually leave the house, work out in the morning, come home, do my work, blah, blah, blah. And it gives me another reason to leave the house again, go do my exercising, you know, and it's just extra movement for me. But now I've decided to go for a push-pull leg program. Um, I have done this program before. And I also think it's good to change your program every 6 to 12 weeks. If you're an advanced trainer, I would advise you to lean more towards the six um, because I don't, I don't, 12 weeks now is just like, 12, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but if you're a beginner, I would obviously tell you like give yourself a longer period of time to see if the program is actually working for you. Um, I feel like when, you, when you're when you an advanced trainer, you, you need to be like proper detailed, really, really detailed to see muscle growth or any, any body composition that changes. Um, it takes a lot once you're an advanced trainer, especially when it's natural. When you're a natural trainer and you're trying to develop muscle, it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. If anything, you probably see like the smallest change. Um, but yeah, I definitely have seen changes in my delts for sure because I've, I've made that my focus. Um, again, any program you make, you can you can make. You have to obviously tailor it to your needs as an advanced trainer. And for me, my weak points were definitely my delts. I really wanted to develop my delts. Um, I didn't put that much focus on my chest because my chest is fit. It's probably one of my strongest points. Um, back as well, fairly decent. Um, arms, my arms are big. Um, so I was like, you know, mainly my focus was delts, calves, and just legs in general. So hitting legs three times a week was definitely an ideal thing for me um, i know some people are thinking but what about rest what about recovery training legs every other day um if you give yourself it's, in, it's enough it's enough that's, 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 that's what like i can say for myself it was enough you know what i mean I've, I've never like i wasn't sore or anything like that um it just depends on the kind of program you give yourself and if you're giving yourself way too much volume to the point where you're like to in the gym for three two two hours plus hitting legs then obviously it's gonna it's gonna take you some time to recover um but yeah let's get into the, the main reason why i've decided to change my split um simply because right now i am cutting and i feel like waking up in the morning going and knocking out my cardio in the morning and then coming home doing my work and then going to the gym and then hitting my session it just it just it just feels right right now it just feels right because right now my cardio is increasing and when i was on the whole chest and back and then legs in the evening doing cardio with <laughs> long that's the that's the best thing i can say it's just long it's just it's just long <laughs> it's long it's hard it's just it's just long uh, so i thought you know what let me just cancel that program for now you know eventually i'll probably go back to it one day but for now i'm gonna try this push pull leg so that way in the morning i can just give my cardio my everything focus on that um right now i'm on around like 45 minutes of cardio um daily simply because again i work from home i don't move much so do the cardio come home do my videos all that stuff that i do work have breakfast and then go hit my main session so it's going to be like a three four hour gap between the two cardio session um between that i'll do videos all that stuff 
eat breakfast and then head to the gym, knock out the work, I come back and then basically have the rest of the day to do my work and then fin- and then at the end of the day I will go for a night time walk. Um I like walking and it's just it's it's underrated. Um it definitely kept me in shape during quarantine. I made a video about that, like how important walking is. Um and the the the, the fat loss that happens when you're walking for like two hours on a day to day basis is pretty insane. But again, it's walking. People are like, oh, it's walking and it, it doesn't do nothing. You keep sleeping. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the main reason why I wanted to change my program. And I just wanted something different now. You know what I mean? I just wanted to change it up. Um, again, the program, I've, I've still tailored it to my needs. You know what I mean? Just because it's push, pull, leg doesn't mean I'm going to be doing like bench, uh, squat, squat, deadlift. You know, the, the, uh, they're still in my program, but like, I don't even bench though. That's the thing. My bench, bench press is not even in my program. And it hasn't been in my program for many years. I don't bench. Simply because I don't like benching. Um, it's, it's just not a lift for me. I don't really like it. I prefer dumbbells. Um, especially like the incline dumbbell. Um, but I don't do flat bench whatsoever. Like, that's just me. Again, I don't do that. Um, people have different needs. People, like, I've been training for so long now. I know what exercise works for me and which ones don't. Um, where for me is mainly like I need to feel it in the muscle that I'm working I don't want to be feeling it in other places where it shouldn't I shouldn't be feeling it um, so yeah that's why I don't do the bench squat it's, it's, it's one of the best exercises for legs you can't argue it um, and I've been really working on my squat lately I've actually changed my squat position and if I literally started from scratch went all the way back just to the bar and just focused on like getting that depth put leg position in feet out or feet in you know all that stuff like i've been really working on that um and my squats feel so much better now i'm not really getting any back pains or anything like that now which is awesome um when i can be squatting like 140 beltless and still trying to still getting that depth and not feeling it no feel, not feeling no pain in my back it was a good decision to go back to the drawing board and just focus and that's the great thing about recording yourself because you can actually see on video how you're squatting what can you adjust okay maybe i need to keep my chest up you know things like that and and it really helps and obviously with people as well because I, I post my videos on instagram and stuff and i'm like i'm open to feedback and people are like yeah but maybe try keep your chest up and you look at your video like oh shit, yeah i'm kind of letting my chest go down a bit it makes sense same with my deadlift i've, had, I've asked people like yo like what, what can i do better because i feel like i'm pulling a lot from my back because i'm tall my legs are long and my back is like my upper my upper uh, torso is very short so getting that leg depth like proper it, it's almost like i'm in a squatting position and that's not how you're supposed to do a deadlift so it's like oh it's a tough one when you're tall <laughs> deadlift is a really difficult one when you're a tall person um but yeah i'm excited for this program today is actually day one of it um so i've got a push day today i'm looking forward to that session um but i thought you know what let me just turn on the camera and just tell you guys what are the plans and where we're heading right now i'm probably feeling my best and looking my best at the weight i am currently currently i'm at like 101.6 and normally around this weight i should not be looking the way i'm looking which means the, the program the training program that i did previously it was working um the walk daily walking cardio um i've been walking more than ever that's for sure and i'm it's helped 100 percent it's helped um so yeah that's it just want to let you guys know some of you interested some of you not interested um but yeah that's that's the plans going forward for now i don't know how long i'm going to be on this program but it should be a while right now we're in august i'll probably keep until like october so throughout september yeah we're gonna be on this nice push pull leg so be looking out for the videos on the ig if you do follow me on there um i do post videos on that and yeah man thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next one peace